I want to increase our appetite for word with no fluff. For instance, there are scriptures in the Bible that we just been taught wrong. And because you've been taught wrong, you act wrong. You just for how you are because how you were taught. The scripture, Philippians 4.13. I see it tattooed on people's forehead, on their backs. I see this. I see every, everybody quote, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And this verse has been made into this type of Rocky Balboa um, underdog can win type verse. But that's not the context of that scripture. When Paul wrote this verse, when Paul said, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, Paul was in a Roman prison. Paul was facing death. Paul was not hoping for parole. Paul knew he was getting ready to die. And so when he said, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, what Paul was really saying, God, strengthen me to die well. He said, God, show me how to die properly. Show me how to die in such a manner that it does not negate my life. You see, back in this time, Roman Colosseums, when Christians were, were, were martyred, oftentimes they have to fight wild animals. Oftentimes they'd be giving a wooden sword and say, fight the gladiator with cold steel. And so there would be people, Christians, sometimes in the cheap seats, and they, and they yell down to the Christian Die well. Die well. And Paul was saying, Jesus, the only way I can suffer and die well would be if you strengthen me, how you strengthen yourself in the garden of Gethsemane. Die well. And so Romans, so, so Philippians 4.13 is not to get you ready to win. It's to prepare you how to die. So when you quote that scripture, that scripture is quoted. That whether or not I live, whether or not I, I live or die, win or lose, and it's likely that I'm getting ready to lose, help me do it well. That's proper scripture.